What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here for my obligatory criterion recommendation, sale recommendation video because apparently, guys, rumor has it, rumor on the street is, is that the criterion 50% off Barnes & Noble sale starts this Friday, June the 28th, and it runs all the way until July the 28th. So guys, this happens twice a year. If you're not aware, if you're new to collecting for the Criterion Collection, if you're new to physical media, we have two sales for Criterion titles, 50% off every single year at the Barnes & Noble, and it's in July, and it's in November. Now, Barnes & Noble has expanded over the years, guys. We've got Aero Video sales as well. We've got Kino Lorber sales from Barnes & Noble, but the Criterion sale is the staple. It is a physical media staple. It's the one that all of us get on here. We make tons of videos um, about every single year, twice a year, actually, um, and it's just a fun time. It's a fun time. Criterion, I feel like, just feels the most important during these times. It's, it's kind of weird. Everybody's throwing out recommendations, but it's fun. And I always get caught up in it, even though I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Criterion fan in the world. I like Criterion. I've got a, a, quite a few in my collection, but I'm not the biggest Criterion guy. I do watch enough Criterions to have a lot of good recommendations for you here today. I've got like, I don't know what I've got, like 20, 25 titles that I just brought over here. I just went over there, guys. This isn't just 10. It's not just 20. It's not just, uh, you know, 15 or anything. I just went over there and grabbed a bunch of titles off the shelf and brought them over here. Some essentials for your collection, some must-haves, if you will, Blu-ray and 4K titles. So during the sale, guys, it's 50% off of SRP, so a 4K will be $25 um, at Barnes & Noble during the sale, and you can get it in store, and you can get it online as well, and the Blu-rays will be $20 usually um, as well. Now, there's certain cases where the Blu-rays, you may find them for $15, and the 4Ks may be a little bit cheaper as well, but that's usually the standard price uh, for the Criterions during this 50% off sale. So with this video though, guys, I also wanna talk about some titles that I'm looking forward uh, to picking up. I've got five titles selected that's on my radar to pick up uh, this month. I'm not going crazy, guys. In the past, I've gone crazy with the Criterion Collection sales. I think back in like 2021 or 2022, I bought like 20 titles uh, during one month, which is too much. I don't need that much because there's still like 30 or 40 in my collection that I haven't watched yet. So I need to start watching my Criterions before I start collecting more. But I like to use these sales now to pick up some of the newer titles that I've missed out on because at this point in time, guys, I use the sales to pick up the, the Criterions. Like it's very rare that I pick up a Criterion on day one. Um, I always wait for the sales because it's like, why not? There's no real point in, in terms of like packaging to pick these up on day one. And I've really rarely ever heard of a Criterion like going out of prints or going out of stock when it comes out. Like that rarely happens. And all the Digipack like special edition package releases, those don't go out of stock either. Those stay in stock for years. So there's no reason in my mind, unless I'm just super excited about a 4K like Thelma and Louise, I picked that up as soon as it came out, to not just wait uh, for that Criterion sale. So that's what I do. So I use these sale months to get some of the titles that I missed out on. So there's a lot of stuff that came out in 2024 that I am looking to pick up in this sale. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling already. I don't want this video to go on and on and on and on, but it probably will. But before we get into it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also like this video. Let me know some Criterion recommendations that you could recommend to me. And also let me know what you are looking to pick up in the month of July as well. So before I get into my recommendations, let's go ahead and list off the titles that I am looking to grab this month. Like I said, there are five 4Ks and Blu-rays that I'm looking to grab. The first one is To Die For on 4K. So this is a movie with Nicole Kidman. I've heard some really good things about this movie. Seems like a really cool 90s thriller. And I was kind of excited when that one got announced, even though, again, I didn't pick it up day one because I knew when that Criterion sale rolled around, I would pick it up then. I think this was an April release. So To Die For is definitely one that I am dying to dying to pick up. Is that a thing? On physical media 4K from the Criterion Collection. We also got Peeping Tom uh, coming out on 4K, guys. I am very excited for this. I almost grabbed that Studio Canal version that came out back in January, but I held off and I was rewarded for holding off because they announced this 
a beautiful Criterion 4K edition, which I'm super excited to have in the collection. That artwork on that is awesome. But apparently Peeping Tom is the first ever slasher. It came out um, the same year as Psycho, but some people said it came out like a few months before Psycho. So it's credited as being like the first official slasher, even though I'm sure there's something that came before it. But Peeping Tom, I'm excited because I've heard some great things about the movie, and that is a 4K title as well. Girl Fight, this is a movie uh, directed by Karen Kusama, who's done some really good movies that I quite enjoy. She's done Jennifer's Body, and she also did a really cool thriller movie called The Invitation. It would be awesome if Criterion uh, did The Invitation. I think that movie would be right up their alley. So hopefully we do get that at some point. But this has Michelle Rodriguez in it. And I've heard great things about this movie. It's a Blu-ray. So um, it's going to be a little bit cheaper than the 4K. It's going to be $20. So I'm excited to get Girl Fight on Blu-ray. We also have Bound uh, coming out on 4K as well. This movie with Gina Grishon and Jennifer Tilly. I've heard this is a really good film noir, so I am excited to check this one out. I'm really into like film noirs and these like 90s thrillers and 80s Hollywood thrillers and that stuff. Just I'm just really into that stuff now, so I'm excited to watch Bound on 4K. That's a recent 4K as well. I think that one came out like within the past couple of weeks that one released. So that's what I'm talking about. Like if it just came out and the Criterion sales like literally two or three weeks away, like why would you grab it when it comes out? Like just wait. And lastly, guys, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, this nice 4K Digipack edition. I love my Westerns, guys, and this looks like a really cool Western film with some really awesome packaging. And that one actually comes out in the month of July, so I'll have to wait to grab that one when it comes out on release date. And I think that one's a little bit more expensive than your standard 4K, so that's probably going to run me about $30 to $35 just grabbing that um, in the sale month. So all in all, guys, with all of these I'm anticipating I'm going to spend about $130, $140 during the Criterion sale month, which is probably way too much anyway to spend on five Criterion titles. Like, that's what I'm talking about, guys. It's a sale. Like, the Kino, look, the Kino sale starts soon. That's another reason why I don't want to go crazy on Criterion, because I go crazy on Kino, because... I can grab like 15 Kino Lorber titles for as much as it's going to cost me to get five uh, Criterion titles. But I am excited to get these Criterions. These are ones that are on my wish list. But let's go ahead and jump into my recommendations, guys. I don't want to go on and on and on about these titles. If I'm showing them, then these are ones that I recommend. I think they're great movies and I think they're great additions. So just know that going in. Let's start with Double Indemnity. I just watched this one uh, recently. This is directed by Billy Wilder, and I watched this because I got that Hollywood thriller book uh, from the Vinegar Syndrome website, and they referenced this movie as being like the first uh, film noir. I love these type of movies, and this movie was fantastic. It was everything that everybody uh, was saying that it was because everybody talks about Double Indemnity as just being one of the greatest classic movies of all time. And I do have to agree. This was a great 4K. This is a great movie. It looked fantastic on 4K. So this is a top recommendation for me for sure. If you do not have Double Indemnity on 4K in your collection, you got to get it. And I will also, even though I don't have this movie in the collection, I watched the movie Detour uh, right after I watched Double Indemnity because the book referenced that as well. Now that's on Tubi and there's a pretty good uh, uh, scan of that on Tubi. I think it's an HD quality version on Tubi. It looks really good. Um, I don't have that in the collection. I do want to add that in the collection at some point because I thought Detour was absolutely fantastic. It was phenomenal. And the movie itself was like an hour long. It was a super quick watch. It was so thrilling and engrossing the whole time. And I think that movie came out like a couple of years after uh, Double Indemnity. So really love that movie. I recommend that wholeheartedly, but I do not have that in my personal collection. We also got to talk about Shaft. You're damn right. This was a really great addition uh, from the Criterion Collection. Really fun movie. And of course, we lost Richard Roundtree uh, very recently. So but I, I enjoyed this one a lot. This is from 1971. And this one actually has uh, the sequel in it, Shaft's Big Score. And I love uh, when these editions just randomly add, like, the sequel of the movie in it. Like, Chinatown just did, adding the two Jakes on Blu-ray. Like, they'll just randomly add in another movie as a special feature. And I think that's super cool. So, this is a really great edition. This will be, like, 25 bucks. But there are two movies in this set. Really great edition, and it looked phenomenal um, on 4K. I just love the way 70s movies look on 4K. They look fantastic. Uh, Destry Rides Again, really good Western with Jimmy Stewart in it, or James Stewart. I'm sorry. I know some people called him Jimmy. He didn't like to be called Jimmy. Some people have called me out in the comment section because of that. 
But I love James Stewart. Like every movie I see him, I, I just love him so much. I've seen probably I'd say at least fifteen James Stewart movies by now, and he's he doesn't get old to me. Like I just love him and everything that he's in. Destry Rods again adds uh, Marlene Dietrich in it, and she's phenomenal as well. Just a really like tough female in the movie, tough female character. This movie came out in the '30s, and it's just a really solid western. I enjoyed this one a lot. So I do recommend this one. Watch this one recently. I think I, I talked about it in my uh, recent uh, Blu-ray challenge video. That's right. I do a lot of stuff on this channel, guys. I forget. But Destry Rides, again, is a recommendation. If you like Westerns, now if you're not a Western fan, you might not like this movie. But Destry Rides, again, I really enjoyed that one. Um, we've also got Mildred Pierce, another film noir with Joan Crawford. This was excellent, really good uh, mystery thriller that's just captivating the entire time. And Joan Crawford is excellent in this film. Her daughter is one of the best on-screen villains that I've ever seen in any movie. She is awful in this film. Uh, but Mildred Pierce is a fantastic film. And this 4K, I've got the 4K edition, is a phenomenal 4K. It looks great. So I highly recommend adding that to your collection. We also got to talk about this classic zombie film, guys. Night of the Living Dead, directed by George A. Romero. Now, you can get the Blu-ray, and that'll be a digipack, and that's a really cool digipack edition. I think those are still available. Maybe they're not. But this 4K is definitely better quality than that Blu-ray, so I do recommend grabbing this 4K. And this movie, guys, like, I didn't love it the first time I watched it. I kind of thought it was a little boring. It's not as good as some of the later zombie films that are just more entertaining and fun to watch, but... The more I get into this film and the more times that I watch it, the more I love it and I just respect it for what it did for the zombie genre uh, back in the 60s. Like, this is such an intelligent and smart movie. It's a social commentary as well, and I just love the way it handles the zombie apocalypse and the buildup. So I think this is an all-time classic. Great film directed by George A. Romero, and you got to have that one um, in the collection. A uh, little respect to, to Donald Sutherland, who just passed away, but don't look now. I've got the Blu-ray edition, but this one does have a 4K. I do recommend this movie, and I can see where this movie will look excellent on 4K. It's got a lot of great scenery in it. Um, but this is just a really, I, I, I almost said fun movie. It's not a fun movie. It starts off very, very, um, very dark. A very dark start to the film. I'm not going to spoil it, even though that is kind of... Um, a part of the premise, but it's a it's hard to watch. It's very hard to watch the first 10 minutes of the movie. Then it kind of turns into something else, a little bit more of a mystery. And the ending is like one of the biggest what the F moments that I've ever experienced on film. So, but it's just a really like creepy, haunting um, movie that just carries a great atmosphere all through it. So I do recommend Don't Look Now. And again, RIP uh, to Donald Sutherland, who just recently passed away. Uh, La Bamba, I love this film. I talked about this in a Criterion Recommendation video, I think last year during November, but really good movie. I just think that... Um, God, Lou Diamond Phillips just embodies Richie Valen. He's such a great, such a great uh, job in this role for sure. And it's a, it's a tragic film because it's a tragic real life story, and it it hits me every time when we get to the end. But I think La Bamba is a great music biopic that you have to have in your collection. And that's a Blu-ray, not a 4K, but the Blu-ray looks excellent. Smooth talk. Um, I I was not expecting the kind of movie that this was, but it really was an excellent film, and Laura Dern is fantastic in this movie. It's very dark, and it goes into some very extreme uh, directions with the plot, and it, it kind of you know challenges you as a viewer a little bit. By the time you get to the end of this film, you're like, wow, I just I, I felt very uncomfortable watching that that movie, especially the last 30 minutes. And I thought this was going to be like a girl has a crush on an older guy and it's kind of a forbidden love kind of situation. A little bit of a romantic, like coming of age comedy, if you will, but it, it's not that. But it is an excellent film. Smooth Talk, I do highly recommend. And we also got Treat Williams, also RIP. Why, do I, why does everybody die all the time? God, it sucks. Um, Malcolm X is an incredible incredible film uh, directed by uh, Spike Lee and starring, of course, Denzel Washington, who is just phenomenal in this movie. This honestly might be Denzel's best performance, and I think it's, uh, it's Spike Lee's best film. So I highly recommend this edition. This is a 4K digipack, thick digipack edition. It's a really nice set, and the 4K is immaculate, guys. It looks so freaking good, so excellent. Malcolm X is a must-own in the collection. Thelma and Louise, this was in my like top five 4Ks of 2023, so it's a phenomenal 4K. 
Really great movie as well with Gina uh, Gina Davis, Susan Sarandon. It's a classic, all-time classic, directed by Ridley Scott. So a staple, and you have to have this one um, in your collection. We've also got Sisters, directed by Brian De Palma. If you like Psycho, um, he pretty much rips off Psycho and makes Sisters with a twist. This movie kind of does its own thing here and there, but it's got Margot Kidder in it. She's excellent in this movie, especially the, some of the stuff she's required to do. I didn't absolutely love this movie, but I respect it a lot, and I can see where it kind of grow. It could grow on me over time. But just as a part of Brian De Palma's filmography, if you're a fan of Brian De Palma, like you need to have this in, in your collection uh, because it is a part of his history, and it kind of informs where he would go with his career after directing this movie. So I do recommend having Sisters in your collection. It was a first time watch for me just a few weeks ago. I watched that. All right, let's let's talk about more De Palma with Blowout. This was an amazing movie. This is one of those movies that I always heard about and everybody hyped up. And it 100% lived up to the hype. John Travolta is freaking awesome in this film. We also have Nancy Allen. But it's just a really like intricate plot that goes into a lot of different directions. But it's so interesting and engrossing. Just the way they set everything up. The fact that he's a sound guy uh, that works on movies. And that's how he captures the sound um, it's just excellent. I love that. I don't want to spoil anything, but I love the way they set everything up and I love the way they pay it off. And it's just excellent. Incredible visuals. This is the 4k edition and it's a phenomenal 4k. So I highly recommend you add blowout to your collection. And that's the movie guys that Quentin Tarantino always points to as the reason why he cast John Travolta, um, in Pulp Fiction. Defending Your Life is a is a fun romantic comedy with a really interesting uh, premise to it. You know, it, it deals with the afterlife. You know, Albert Brooks dies and he goes in the afterlife and he falls in love. And it, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie that I think that after dealing with some of the heavier criterions, like you can have a lighter, enjoyable time watching Defending Your Life. So I do recommend that one uh, for sure. We've also got Mean Streets. This is a Martin Scorsese classic. I love Mean Streets. Every time I watch it, I'm like, this is is top five Scorsese for me. I freaking love this movie. It's so raw. It's so gritty, but it's so freaking excellent. So Mean Streets is fantastic. Yes, Second Sight has a beautiful 4K edition as well. And you can get that box set, but if you want to go the cheaper route, you can get this for $25 on the Criterion sale, whereas that's going to run you, especially if you're in the US, like even if you got the standard edition, that could be like $40 by the time you import it um, over here. So this one's good. It's good enough. It looks great on 4K. It's got some good special features. Now, I think that it's missing one or two features that the Second Sight Edition has, but also this has stuff that the Second Sight Edition doesn't have. So it's really kind of a give or take uh, when it comes to Mean Streets, but I think you're good with the Criterion 4K. It really looks, really looks outstanding for sure. Uncut Gems, one of my favorite modern films. I saw this movie in the theaters. It, it may be the only um, criterion title in my collection that I saw in the theaters. But I remember seeing this, it freaking blew me away. My freaking stomach was in knots when we were getting in some of the closing sequences of this film. Just a guy that gets in way over his head, played by Adam Sandler, and he just keeps making it worse and worse and worse as the movie goes. And it's just so freaking captivating. So I love Uncut Gems. It really reminds me of a Scorsese film. It's directed by the Safdie brothers, and this is a must-own edition. I, I I don't feel like a lot of people talk about the Uncut Gems Criterion edition, uh, so I do like to highlight this one just to remind everybody that A24, or Criterion did an A24 film and added it to the collection, and I wish that they would do more of their uh, titles for sure. Like I would love to see the Safdie brothers' other film, Good Time, in the, in the Criterion collection. That would be awesome. The Florida Project would make a great uh, Criterion edition, but Uncut Gems is a phenomenal film. Adam Sandler's best performance, probably, I would say. I wouldn't say it's his best movie because he's got some comedies that are just all-time classics to me, but his best performance at a film is Uncut Gems for sure. That's a must-own in your collection. The Freaks set, um, I do recommend this one. It's the first time that Freaks was ever put out on Blu-ray, and you got two uh, silent films to go along with it as well that kind of had the the shot the sideshow uh, theme, and they're all directed by Todd Browning, same director that did Dracula. And we got uh, The Unknown and The Mystic all on Blu-ray for the first time, and they, you know, the silent films look good for what they are, but Freaks really looks good 
um, on Blu-ray. I almost wish they would have done that in 4K because I could see the potential. But this is a really cool uh, Digipack edition. Some beautiful artwork on the inside. Nice circus sideshow theme. And I do recommend this one, even though this will run you probably $35 in the Criterion sale. We also got Wally. This is a really great edition, guys. This looks spectacular on 4K. It is the only Pixar Disney film in the Criterion Collection. It was their only uh, crossover. I wish they would do more. Like I could see Up in the Criterion Collection. I could see Aladdin if they wanted to go some other Disney animated movies. I could see Aladdin in the Criterion Collection. That would be great as well. But Wally, they did back in. I was. I think this was 2022. Really good addition. It's got a bunch of new special features in it as well. A lot of people love Wally. They say it's the best Pixar film, and who am I to argue? It is a really great film and a really great addition from the Criterion Collection that I do highly recommend. Big, big Digipack, Digipack release as well. Uh, we also got Menace to Society. I love this movie. Such a great movie. This 4K is spectacular. Every time it gets to the end of this film, I just I just sink down into the couch. It just leaves me floored and stunned, and I'm always sitting there for like 10 minutes after because it just hits so freaking hard. But Menace to Society is absolutely fantastic. Great 4K, great special features as well. Uh, Chilly Scenes of Winter. Um, it deals with relationships in a relatable way, but also an annoying way because you look at this character who's played by John Hurt, also R.I.P., and you're like, why are you this way? Like, this is like the worst representation um, of a clingy male in a relationship. But it is interesting to watch because there there are things about him and his character that you can relate to. But it is a really interesting watch and it's got some great special features as well. So I do highly recommend Chilly Scenes of Winter and it looks spectacular on Blu-ray as well. Um, we also got Fast Times at Ridgemont High. This is a top recommendation, even though I'm kind of kind of reluctant to recommend it because I feel like this is one they'll do on 4k at some point pretty soon probably within the criterion collection like they did dazed and confused um so this one is kind of hard to recommend but also the blu-ray is a 4k scan and it looked fantastic and this has some really great special features as well so I do highly recommend fast times at Ridgemont high just a classic classic high school comedy like you don't get any more classic than Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Like it started it all, in my opinion. Uh, such a great movie. We also got Deep Cover. I talk about Deep Cover a lot. Um, it's directed by Bill Duke, uh, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, Lawrence Fishburne, Jeff Goldblum, just a really, really solid like noir thriller. And I enjoy this one a lot. So beautiful artwork on the cover as well. And there's some really good features in here. Uh, new interview with Bill Duke, and there's an AFI Conservatory uh, seminar from 2018 featuring Bill Duke and actor. Lawrence Fishburne. There's a new conversation between film scholars and there's just all kinds of stuff with this edition. So I definitely highly recommend uh, Deep Cover. We also got After Hours um, on 4K. This is a recent 4K. I review this on the channel. If you want to know my, my in-depth thoughts, go check out that review. As well as Raging Bull. This is a top recommendation as well. This is probably, guys, my favorite Martin Scorsese film. I love this movie. I love the relationship between uh, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci in this film. And I just think that this movie just hits so freaking hard. I love it so much. It is the anti-Rocky film. That is what this is, but it is such a great movie. I reviewed this 4K as well. The 4K is spectacular, so definitely recommend Raging Bull and Scorsese's other film, um, After Hours. That was a really good looking 4K as well. Miller's Crossing is a really fun Coen Brothers movie. Highly recommend this one. A lot of people talk about, you know, Fargo and No Country for Old Men and, of course, The Big Lebowski. But not a lot of people talk about Miller's Crossing, um, and they should. This is a really good gangster prohibition era uh, movie that's kind of a little lighthearted in its approach, but it's a fantastic movie. Highly recommend uh, Miller's Crossing. And lastly, guys, we have a classic romantic comedy, Bringing Up Baby. This is one that I always point to, and I'm like, comedy? There are There is such a thing as comedy that ages very well because this is a movie that came out in the 30s and I think that if you do a comedy right and you make it relatable for decades like you really have a classic on your hands and that's what bringing a baby does like it's not tied to a specific time period like some of the stuff is but some of the stuff is just timeless comedy that holds up today and you can watch this movie and you can still laugh today and I think it's incredible. So Bringing Up Baby and it's got Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn, they're great in this film. Highly recommend Bringing Up Baby and it's got a freaking cheetah, you know, tail that wraps all the way around. That's freaking cool, guys. But anyway, I feel like I say freaking in my videos too much now. I probably do. I'm going to work on that, but these Criterion Editions are must-owns 
for anybody's collection. So grab them during the sale. Don't grab all of them because that would be crazy, but pick out like five or six that I recommended today and grab those during the sale. So thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and reviews and follow me on all of my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time.